Hello there! Today I'd like to talk to you about one of my favourite games from Toppy Games. It's called Save Your Planet. Now in this game we can play uh, among players separately, so each player for themselves, or we can play in teams. Um, and the idea is that we're playing against the other players, but we're also playing against the climate challenge. Um, and depending on uh, how well we do or don't do, we're going to move our cursor forwards on the climate freeze here at the bottom of the world map. Um, it'll go forwards if we answer cor questions correctly and, uh, and do things well. And if we don't do things so well and we get questions wrong, it'll go backwards. If the cursor goes all the way to the defeat square on the, this side of the freeze, then we have completely lost the game, all of us. And if the token gets all the way to the victory square at the other end of the freeze, then we've all won. Uh, we'll also each have objective cards that will allow us to individually work towards a specific objective that will allow us to win the game as an individual or as an individual team. Um, so as you can see, um, I've set up the board here. So we've got the world map in the center. We've got four different decks of cards down the side. We've got question cards here, we've got event cards, we've got drawing cards, and we've got our objective cards. Also, each player or each team will have tokens of renewable energies. So we've got solar energy, wind energy, and hydroelectric energy. We've got blue, yellow, red, and green. Um, and uh, we also have this dice here, uh, which is not a numerical dice, but I will explain to you what each of those faces means in a moment. So, um, let's go, let's play. The person to go first should be the person who most recently went to a forest. So we'll assume that that's me. Um, and we'll also assume that each of the players has been dealt an objective card. Uh, so each objective card has an animal on it. There we have a zebra, there we have a bear. I'm going to take the bear objective card. So my personal objective for winning the game completely is to have four renewable energies in Asia three of which are different. So if I can manage to do that, then I will have automatically won the game. Um, I'll put my objective card to the side, of course, I don't want any of the other players to see it. Um, and as it's my turn, what I'm going to do is choose a polluting energy on the board, which I want to replace. So I'm going to start in Asia and we're going to go for this um, oil rig over here. Now my neighbour is going to draw a question card and they're going to ask me the corresponding questions. So as you can see the oil rig is this red symbol here. So they're going to ask me the red symbol question on the question card. What is a greenhouse gas? A greenhouse gas of course is a gas that absorbs part of the sun's rays and redistributes them in the Earth's atmosphere. If I can answer that correctly, then I will have won the right to roll the dice. If I do not answer the question correctly, mm -mm -mm, it's bad news. It means the cursor on the freeze is going to go backwards uh, towards the defeat square, and I will have to draw an event card. Um, and if the event card symbol matches the symbol on the freeze, then I read it out and I apply the event. Um, now here it does match, and so the, the event is the Japanese city of Tokyo is suffocated by severe smog. Remove the newest photo, photovoltaic panel, so the newest solar panel. Uh, we don't have any solar panels on the board, so it's not going to have an effect, but as you can see, event cards often uh, will have a negative effect on the game. So it depends, but Sometimes it can be positive as well, but a lot of the time it's not such good news. Um, I'm going to put that event card to the bottom of the pack now. Um, if I answer the question correctly, I don't move backwards, I'm going to roll the dice and then we're going to apply effects on the game based on which face comes up. If this symbol appears, I will move the cursor to the right without drawing an event card. Um, so that's quite nice. I'm just going to move it along there. If this symbol comes up, I will move the cursor to the right and draw an event card, read the news flash, and then apply the event if the symbol matches. If this symbol comes up, I'm going to draw a drawing card. Uh, and on the drawing card, I'm going to have the choice between two animals. I'm going to pick one of them, and I'm going to draw that animal during the next round of play. Now, anyone in the game can try and guess which animal it is that I'm drawing. If someone guesses the animal right, we move the cursor forwards one square. 
if this symbol comes up, whoopee do, we get to move the cursor forwards two squares without drawing an event card. If this symbol comes up, it's not so great. We have to draw an event card and apply its effects without moving the cursor on the bar. If this symbol comes up, it means that you get two chances to answer your next question. So if we go back to my original greenhouse gas question, let's assume I got that question right and I'm now going to replace the polluting energy which I was targeting with a nice renewable hydroelectric energy source. Um, and uh, I'm going to roll the dice and lucky me, I'm going to get to have two chances to answer the next question. I think we can all agree, Save Your Planet is an intelligent game. It's for ages eight and upwards, and it can be played with two to 10 players. It takes about 30 to 45 minutes to play a game.